you beautiful programmers and welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can use bootstrap 5 a popular library with vue.js to make your development much easier so what I, i'm not going to run the whole create view app but you should know that if you don't there's a video i leave down in the description showing you how to run your first vue.js app so what i'm going to do is open this up with visual studio code this is just a basic boilerplate this is what you get when you run the create view app command okay so what i'm going to do is open up the, my integrated terminal and what you want to do is type in npm i bootstrap i won't run a word bootstrap i won't run this because i already have this but once you wait for this to finish completing and to install bootstrap for you but before you can start using this you have to the to import it from the main entry point cancel that which is here don't import bootstrap itself unless you want jquery and popping etc too much but if you just want the styling just this one line import bootstrap for slash this forward slash css bootstrap.min.css that's all you need so let me just open this up using get rid of everything you'll find within the template for now so let me just run npm run subs so that we can view this in our browser so npm run sub which will serve up this on my local host 88 depending on how fast your machine is this should take okay done mine's done so let's check that out and there hello view you should have a lot of stuff within here but just delete it and have an empty template so once you're done with this now using bootstrap is so much easier so all you have to do is head over to get bootstrap.com but i have an offline version so if you wanted whichever component you want let's say i wanted a button or a button group i could just copy everything here copy there and then head over back here and then just paste it right here we do this and voila okay fuck this error errors errors what the heck oh snap we have to import it one component let's see how that works so let's import just one button uh, bugger me up and call me stupid the template suit requires exactly one element okay okay how about we import a nav bar let's see let's do a nav bar so i'm just going to go into nav bar this one i really like down here at the bottom it's responsive it's nice and just simple nope okay let's do this and then just paste it right there let me get rid of this hello and boom that should work out fine and then we should have run properly now no errors perfect So let's head over and look at that there we have a beautiful number you can also change if you are familiar with bootstrap i don't like this white so let me just change this and the background also i want it to be dark okay so you can you can play around with this do a lot more change it up switch it up paste in more components or if you have mastered the classes just type in them in yourself you can do a lot more with this all you have to do is just head to the documentation and just paste and run it's like stack overflow 
hope you enjoyed this video if you did show appreciation like this give me a thumbs up if you haven't already a subscriber subscribe to the academy if you're serious about becoming a full stack web developer programmer or an app developer okay we have it all right here on our favorite academy fortune dev academy out i'll see you guys in the next video Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing